ओम नमः शिवाय स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर कोऑर्डिनेट एक्सिस फॉर इच वी नीड द ग्राफ पेजेस सो दैट यू यूज योर ग्राफ कॉपी नाउ द ग्राफ इज नथिंग जस्ट अ सिस्टम ऑफ टू नंबर लाइन वन इज हॉरिजेंटल नंबर लाइन एंड अदर इज वर्टिकल नंबर लाइन द हॉरिजेंटल नंबर लाइन इज कॉल्ड एक्स एक्सिस और एक सो एक्स प्राइम एंड द वर्टिकल नंबर लाइन इज कॉल्ड y axis or y o y prime now as in the number line we know one is positive part and other is negative part and zero in the middle similarly on the vertical also from origin o this point is called origin where the two axes intersecting each other at perpendicularly so this origin o from o to x is called the positive side of x axis from o to x prime it is called negative of x axis similarly from o to y it is called the positive y axis and o to y prime as negative y axis now when they are intersecting perpendicularly there are four region formed so first region it is called as quadrant 1 the anti clockwise the second region is called the quadrant 2 the third one this region is called the quadrant 3 and the last one is called the quadrant 4 so all this part is quadrant 1 quadrant 2 this part quadrant 3 and this one quadrant 4 now any point on this quadrant 1 having the x positive y positive since here x positive y also positive similarly in quadrant 2 we find out x as negative and y as positive so minus plus the coordinate will be minus plus for a point similarly for the quadrant 3 here x also negative y also negative so minus minus and for the fourth quadrant the positive is x but y is negative so plus minus and for which i need to give this arrow because it can be extended up or downward right side left side to the infinity and the scale is mass to write for a graph that is here it is 10 small small divisions are there up to one unit then from 1 to 2 there are again 10 small divisions similarly in y axis also so the scale is written as 10 small division equals to one unit therefore one small division equals to 1 by 10 unit now a point p and the q is considered on the graph page two different quadrant now p if we see the perpendicular distance from x and perpendicular distance from y the coordinate of point p will be the perpendicular distance from the y axis that means this one so where it is 4 so the x will be 4 comma and the y will be the value the perpendicular distance from y x axis along with the y axis so the distance from x axis it is as 3 so the coordinate is 4 3 for the point p similarly if we see the point q the x value will be the distance from the y axis so distance from the y axis the value is minus 5 so in the bracket minus 5 and the value of the y will be perpendicular distance from x axis that is 7 so minus 5 7 so these are the basic part from the graph paper now what we have to write in the side ruled page i am showing you here that is what we have mentioned in the graph page same thing here the horizontal axis x o x prime and the vertical axis y o y prime intersect each other perpendicularly so they are intersecting at each other perpendicularly at a point called origin the point o is called the origin thus x y plane is formed and it is also known as this is called the xy plane this two dimensional plane is called the xy plane because axis is x and y so that's why it is called as that xy plane is formed and it is also known as cartesian plane or the coordinate plane 
now considering the point p and q on the cartesian plane we have the x coordinate of a point is its perpendicular distance just we have discussed from the y axis along the x axis from the point p it is plus 4 so we have seen it is plus 4 the perpendicular the dis distance along with the x axis but perpendicular distance from y axis that is the value of x and the 3 that is a y value is the along with the y axis but perpendicular distance from x axis that is here F for the point p it is plus 4 and for the point q it is minus 5 and x coordinate is also known as abscissa the x coordinate also called as abscissa so abscissa of point p is plus 4 and abscissa of point q is minus 5 similarly the point point number 2 the co y coordinate of a point is its perpendicular distance from x axis and along with the y axis from the for the point p it is plus 3 and for the point q it is plus 7 so for the point p it is plus 3 and for the point q it is 7 so it is there that the y coordinate is also known as ordinate so x is called as abscissa and y coordinate is called as simply ordinate now togetherly abscissa and ordinate is called as coordinate so coordinate of a point so coordinate of a point p is 4 3 coordinate of a point q is minus 5 7 and the coordinate of a or of the origin o is always 0 0 this is constant always fixed origins always will be 0 0 now the coordinate always to be right within the bracket don't forget it a few things to be remember while you are doing graph that the scale the arrow to be given and the name of the axis and the reading of the axis these are so this is the bit introduction i have given for the coordinate geometry so write down this one in your graph copy in the next video we will see few more things about the graph but before that i want to give you some task for that that i am mentioning you few points and you will write down the coordinate in your copy also suppose this is point a this point is b this point is C, this point is D, E, F. I want you to write down the coordinate of these six points in your crop P. Okay. So, see you in the next video. Till then, Namashivaya.